So there's been a lot of SEMA AP reviews out there, and there's nothing to cover anymore, as you already, as you all know the stuff. You know, you, you already know. So all I can do is make a review of their reviews of this gun and attempt to make it interesting, which is something that's difficult for me to do, as I have all the retardation of Sam Hyde, but without the editing skills, so I can make shit videos. Uh, Jerry Ford doesn't cover the fact that if you file the sights down to get a better picture, you get a gaping hole in the plastic, and you have to also deal with the scratches on the gun, so you have to use some spray paint as well. Some Russian guy nutshells it, but this is this video right here. Uh, but he drags it along for way too long. Um, Crazy NC man calls a battery a 450 ma, even though it comes with a 500 ma, and he doesn't even mention it as a 7.2 volt. He has a funny way of going inside the gun, and that's not even an imp. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't mention the fact that it's a 7.2. I'm reading off a script. 7. I'm bad at writing scripts. Uh, holy shit! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! So he doesn't mention the fact that it's a uh, phrase this in a better way. God damn it! Shut up. Uh, it has a funny way of getting inside the gun, and he doesn't mention that it's even a nim, which is a uh, uh, you know. I'm sure, these are you can figure out. I'm sure, these are things you can figure out for yourself. But website info is often incorrect. As per example, this friggin' spring pistol being the sys firing 370 feet per second. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. All right, check this out. Mhm. Mm oh, you think it could be a typo, right? Right? Ah, huh. another one. Must be a coincidence, right? Look at this. This shoot this one shoots even harder. Three ten with a point two on a spring gun. This is a spring gun, it's all plastic. Right? Oh maybe it's a coincidence. Nope. Mm mm. No. 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 Yeah, it sure was measured like that. Yeah, they they chrono that one definitely. Altering universes from so you know, just you know, whatever. And the thing is, I own one, so I know for a fact that it barely breaks 250 with a point 12. This is even a typo. Do you think they changed it after typing it twice? I mean, if it was a typo on every single one of them, you know, they, they'd be like, oh, 350 to 370. What? Wait, they put a three there? It should be a two. You know, they, they change it after typing twice or notice it the first time. This is a marking technique known as straight up lying, and you can get away with it. Other examples uh, include uh, this right here. Uh, they listed this thing as firing up to 460 feet per second at some point. That was back in uh, 2013. They do this every once in a while. There are very, very good places you find good prices on things uh, as well. Like, uh,. This why is this ninety bucks? This is like a fifty. This takes like fifty, like forty dollars in materials. Um, so uh, I I just recommend you get shit off eBay, used, unused. That's how I got my AP. Got it for like sixty bucks. That's like with shipping. And um, it's because the free market. Uh, it, no, god damn it. Uh, you should do it off somewhere else, right? Because the free market forces this company to either stop doing stupid things like this just because they can get away with it or run out of business not by not buying from them or and voicing your concerns after doing some research you can improve their prices or products to conform to a consumerist based business plan instead of a profit based business plan which is just crony capitalism it is, that's, that's just the way it works that's, that's crony capitalism right there you're, you're, it's profit over customer this is the kind of shit that makes companies um fund military organizations in third world countries just to get like a special like really cheap source of fruit right the fact is that it, it takes so little money to make their shit it's ridiculous because you can easily find stuff for cheaper and shipping is the only high cost there fucking man. shipping is the only high cost there shipping why did I write it like that uh, whatever they have some really good uh shipping deals pretty much like uh for instance you could find some really good stuff on um 
uh, on this website like for kind of good prices like uh, manufacturers SEMA 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 god damn it give me a second there you go so you got some SEMA this is a really good guideline in golf because you can find this stuff easy so an M14 for 111 bucks here's like 50 bucks right but this is shipping straight from Asia right straight from Asia so they got a lot of crazy shipping stuff but $55 for electric desert equal you, you know this stuff this is amazing deals 73 bucks for one of these things and um they don't they don't they don't have bad shipping because like i said they um they have some really good deals on their stuff this video is so fucked they, they yeah they have really good deals on their stuff on the on the shipping because they're shipping directly from the manufacturer not just a different uh what different uh distributor they have a supplier they they're they're shipping directly from sema and they're still charging really high shit like Airsoft Megastore. Uh, they, they have some pretty good deals on their guns. Like, um, like this right here. And that's 15 bucks. Plus 15 bucks shipping. This is a CMO 31, I guess. Let me see. 24, 24. It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't show what model it is, does it? Whatever, this is a, so it's a pretty good gun, I guess, and that's a very good price. Uh, and then they start charging all of this, but um, you got this other, you got like a, a bunch of uh, coupons and shit. And that's the only way we can get it for, from there for like a good price, but if you were to ship directly from SEMA, you'd be, you, 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 they'd sell stuff for, for to you, like for like a hundred, hundred bucks, like full size, full size like like high end ags i guess you call them high end whatever uh you get some enl stuff but uh yeah they, they sell shit for like over 100 and like they're for like 200 percent like their actual price and they do that with enl ak's too which is another good example it, it takes like 100 bucks to make an enl ak not 100 bucks like, like 70 70 bucks and you gotta hear the shipping and all that and it comes out probably like 111 i guess and um, you know, they realize they could just rob anyone blind of that extra 200 bucks just because they're Jewy assholes. And um, the fact is that someone's going to take their asses down in the free market eventually if they don't change their shitty ways. Seriously, I'm bad at writing this. Uh, I don't think there's a lot to go over, so there isn't much content in stick in this video. I could just crunch everything into five seconds if I wanted to. I really could. I could just be like... Boop, 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 boop. That's how you use the gun. Boop, 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 boop. And uh, you shoot it, and it's, it's magazine goes it, done. That's the whole video. So I'm definitely this rallying cry against crony capitalism. Let's just get into the shooting video thing I made. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.